Namotase Bhagavatu Arehatu Samha Sambuddhase Namotase Bhagavatu Arehatu Samha Sambuddhase Namotase Bhagavatu Arehatu Samha Sambuddhase All right. So we are doing the last, possibly the last few pages of the book today. And um, so page number 363, everyone. Samapati Veda. Herein, the attainment of fruition is common to all, each being able to attain their respective fruition, but the attainment of cessation is accessible only to non returners and arahan. The attainment of cessation is Nirodha Samapati and is only attainable to non-returners and arhants. The attainment of fruition. The attainment of fruition. Palasamapati <clears throat> is a meditative attainment by which a noble disciple enters into the supramundane absorption with Nibbana as object, with Nibbana as object. It is attained for the purpose of experiencing the bliss of Nibbana here and now. The chittas that occur in this attainment are the fruition chittas corresponding to the disciples' level of realization. Thus, each of the four grades of noble individuals can enter their own proper fruition attainment. The stream enterer attaining the fruition attainment of stream entry, etc. The attainment is reached by first making the resolution to attain fruition. Then the develop then and then developing in sequence the insight knowledges beginning with knowledge of rise and fall. <laughs> beginning with knowledge of rise and fall. The attainment of cessation. <coughs> okay. In this case one enters successively upon the sublime attainments beginning with the first jhana. And then, after emerging from them, one contemplates with insight the conditioned states within each of those attainments. Right? Uh, in, in this case, one enters successively upon the sublime and beginning with the subtrum. So, here, what it mentions is, or what it says, one enters successively upon the sublime attainments beginning with the first jhana. So, be it that the person who has attained is comfortable with, let us say, the second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana, or the fifth jhana, they will attain to that respective jhana. It's not necessary that you go from the first jhana itself, right? And then emerging from them, one contemplates with inside the conditioned states within each of those attainments, the conditioned states within each of those attainments. Having proceeded thus up to the base of nothingness, one then 
attends the preliminary duties such as the resolution, etc. And and enters the base of neither perception nor non-perception. After two occasions of javana in absorption, the continuum of consciousness is suspended. Then one is said to have attained cessation. Right? So what that means is for that pro for that duration, the meditator enters upon Nirodha Samapati, consciousness is suspended for that whole period, right? For that whole period. So for example, let us say, let us say that the meditator wants to attain Nirodha Samapati for a day or a couple of hours or multiple days or multiple days, the consciousness will be suspended for that to cover that determination, right? So automatically, because of the determination beforehand, the consciousness will, if I may use the word, reactivate after two days or three days or a couple of hours as per the determination made before the attainment, right? Before the attainment. The attainment of cessation is a meditative attainment in which the stream of consciousness and mental factors is completely cut off temporarily. In, it can be obtained only by non-returners and arahants who have mastery over all the fine material and immaterial jhanas. Further, it can be obtained only within the sensuous plane or the fine material plane of existence, right? Or the fine material plane of existence. It cannot be obtained within the immaterial plane for there is no attaining of the four fine material jhanas there, which are pre prerequisites for entering cessation. To enter cessation, the meditator must attain each jhana in proper sequence. Okay. Okay. So, Nirodha Samapatti and Phala Samapatti, Nirodha Samapatti and Phala Samapatti, as mentioned, is different from one another. In Phala Samapatti, the duration through which the meditator chooses to attain to the pala experience in Nibbana, at that moment, the pala vibrates or the pala arises and passes from Chittakkana to Chittakkana for the whole duration of the pala samapatti. Do you understand? Right? So if the meditator is attaining Palasamapati or going into Palasamapati for a duration of, let us say, five hours, Right? Then the Pala Samapati, the, ja, the Pala Chitta will be vibrating, arising and passing for five hours. And then it will start again. So the consciousness has not ceased. However, in Nirodha Samapati, there is no vibration of consciousness and mental factors. The only people who can attain this are Anagamis, Anagamis and non-returners and arahants who have mastered all of the jhanas from the fine material into the immaterial jhanas. So in the, in the attainment of cessation, I might have to correct myself there, in the attainment of cessation in Nirodha Samapati, one has to start with the first jhana do vipassana on the first jhana, let go of the first jhana, go into the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and then into the all the four uh, immaterial jhanas, and then 
go into cessation. Is that clear, everyone? Yes, dear. But can you please repeat that again, please, Vante? Yes. So in the attainment of cessation, it is different to palasamapati. Palasamapati, you don't need to go into the sequence. You don't need to attain to all the jhanas in sequence to experience palasamapati. However, Nirodha Samapati is rather special. It cannot be attained by all Arahans and Anagami Sattvas. It can only be attained by Anagamis and Arahans who have mastered all of the jhanas up until the very last one. Right? Because it is a process of insight, the sequence from the first all the way up until the last jhana which is the immaterial sphere jhana, from one by one, one to one, right? You let go of the previous through inside, go on to the next. Let go of that with inside, go on to the next. Up until you reach a last jhana and then attain cessation. Is that clear? And then attain cessation. Further, it can only be obtained only within the sensuous plane or the fine material plane of existence. It cannot be obtained. So one cannot go into Nirodha Samapatti if one is beyond the fine material or the sensuous sphere plane. It can only be obtained. It cannot be obtained within the immaterial plane. But there is no attaining of the four fine material jhanas there which are the prerequisite for entering cessation, Nirodha Samapatti. Is that clear, everyone? Right? <clears throat> to enter cessation, the meditator must attain each jhana in proper sequence. After emerging from each one, he contemplates its factors as impermanent, suffering, and non-self. Right? <coughs> in this manner, the pro procedure is carried as far as the base of nothingness. After emerging from the base of nothingness, the meditator then makes four resolutions. One, that any requisites he has belonging to others should not be destroyed during the attainment. That any one, four resolutions, one, that any requisites he has belonging to others should not be destroyed during the attainment. His own requisites are automatically protected by the attainment itself. Right? What is this? This is done. These four resolutions are all down to the power of determination. Right? All Adhisthana Shakti. Right? Determination. That no requisites automatically because of the power of the consciousness at that moment, there will be no harm that comes about to one's own requisites or body. Right? Now remember when uh, Venerable Sariputta was attacked by Mara on his head whilst he was in Nirodha Samapatti? Know the story? Right? So whilst Mara was flying um, overhead, right, uh, he, uh, Venerable Sariputta was in Nirodha Samapatti and, and Mara, you know, delivered a very strong blow to Sariputta's head, Venerable Sariputta's head. And however, the, however strong the blow was, Sariputta was not affected. He had a slight headache, right? But nothing more than that. And even if it is a forest fire or whatnot, the robes and nothing would be sort of destroyed by the power of that attainment, right? That is all owing to those determinations that is done. So now the first one here is, okay, your one, your requisites, your body is protected during this time, right? 
the first resolution is nothing belonging to any other person that is in within in your um in your care right nothing belonging to others that is in your care will be harmed right in your care will be harmed two that he should emerge if his services are needed by the Sangha. Three, that he should emerge if he is summoned by the Buddha. Right? This is during the Buddha's lifetime. And four, that he is not bound to die within seven days. Right? Within seven days. So one might say um, within seven days. So if the Ayusha is not enough to support the attainee to go into Nirodha Samapati for duration of seven days, if there's not enough Anusha, the Nirodha Samapati will automatically not arise. Right? Will not arise. After making these resolutions, he enters the fourth immaterial jhana, which occurs for two moments of javana. Immediately after, he attains cessation, wherein the stream of consciousness is temporarily suspended, wherein the stream of consciousness is temporarily suspended. Emergence from cessation. At the time of emergence from cessation, in the case of non-returner, the fruit of non-returning consciousness Occur, occurs one time. In the case of an arahan, the fruit of arahanship consciousness occurs one time and then there is subsidence into the life continuum. Following this, reviewing knowledge occurs. Right? Again, at the time of emergence from cessation, from nirodha, in the case of a non-returner, Pala Chitta vibrates one time, arises one time. Arahant arises one time, occurs one time, and then goes into Bhavanga. Is that clear, everyone? Right? So, <coughs> let us say seven days, Nirodha Samapatti, when the time is lapsed, and when it is time to now emerge, what happens is, let us take Arahant. Arahant, Palachitta arises, then goes into the Bhavanga. Is that clear? The Chitta Viti. Right? Pala arises, then goes into the Bhavanga. For the non-returner, Pala arises and goes into the Bhavanga. Right? Is that clear? Right? Now, herein, this is the analysis of attainments. The method of meditation for developing insight is now finished. Right? Is now finished. Okay. Now, in conclusion, one who aspires to enjoy the taste of practice in the Buddha's dispensation should develop this twofold meditation so excellent in the way explained. The twofold meditation is calm and insight. Thus ends the ninth chapter in the Manual of Abhidhamma entitled The Compendium of Meditation Subjects. This treatise, composed out of compassion for others at the request of number, a person of refined manners, an arahant, belonging to a respectable family, full of pay and repeat with sterling values, virtues, has been completed. By this great merit, May the modest monks who are purified by wisdom and who shine with virtues remember till the end of the world 
the most famous Malusoma Monastery, the fortunate abode for the acquisition of merit and for their happiness. So that is the end, everyone. Right. But let us read this as well. The teachers of Abhidhamma hold two different opinions about the name of the monastery where Acharya Anuruddha composed the Abhidhamma Tasangraha. One school of thought takes the name to be uh, Tumula Soma Vihara, holding Tumula to be synonymous with Maha, meaning great. No such word as Tumula, however, exists in the Pali or Sanskrit. Both languages contain a word, Tumula, which does not mean great, but uproar or tumult, a word to which, in its etymologically related, this word is generally used in connection with warfare. It occurs in the Vesantara Jataka in the line, Atetta Vatati Saddho Tumulo Beravo Maha. The sounded forth a mighty sound, then sounded forth a mighty sound, a terrible great tumult. The other line of interpretation holds that the name of the monastery Mula Soma Vihara, the syllable Tu, is taken to be an indeclinable conjunctive particle, here used for the sake of euphony. Since Acharya Anuruddha has used in a similar way elsewhere in his treatise. It seems probable that he is using it here as well. Thus, we should regard the name of the monastery as Mula Soma Vihara. In the Sri Lankan tradition, it is generally believed that this monastery was situated in the district of Chilau. Chilau. Chilau? It's Chilau, right? Right? Um, and that at present, the Munesran Kovil stands on its site. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the phrase, Danna Divasa, Danna Divasa, the phrase Danna Divasa, which the author uses to describe this monastery, does not mean the abode of grain as earlier translations have rendered it. Danya, 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 okay. The word Danna here bears the derivative meaning of fortunate or meritorious. Lady Siado explains that the monastery is so described because it was the residence of meritorious elders, beginning with its founder, the elder named Mahinda. Thus ends the treatise, the manual of Abhidhamma composed by Ahatarya Anuruddha. So after three years, everyone, we have come to an end. <laughs> of the Abhidham. For some of you, it is the first time. For others, it is the second time that we have completed the book. So how wonderful we have learned about Chitta, Chetasika, Rupa and Nibbana. And I think the second time that we have done it with the occasion and of course, you know, we have been able to dwell so much more deeper in the book. Really, um, really sort of... Uh, challenging our own knowledge and and going so much more deeper. And I must say that with this group, you know, doing this book, I realize from three years ago to now, even my knowledge has increased so much more, so, so much more with regards to the way of looking at things and looking at the Dhamma, right? So much so, so, so wonderful. So now I will let you know when we are going to have the uh, introductory session on the Dhamma Sangani, right? On the Dhamma Sangani. And whilst, whilst uh, you, we do organize the introductory session on the Dhamma Sangani, um, please do revise. Please do revise the Chitta, the Chetasika, the Sampayoga Sangraha, right? The Sampayoga Sangraha specifically. And of course, 
uh, the ropers, right? So do go through those sections so that you will be able to go into the Dhammasangani and understand or be able to tabulate. And uh, and it. I think it is personally very, very interesting. So I will let all of you know when the Dhammasangani introduction is going to be. And then we will start the Dhammasangani shortly after that. Okay. Okay. Any questions, anyone? Bante. Yes. But Dhammasangani, is there a textbook that we... So it is not a textbook. Uh -huh. It's not a textbook. But um, I do have a, I do have some notes, which I will be uh -huh. sharing. But part uh -huh. of the note is the formatting has gone off. I don't know why. But mm -hmm. it's Matika, Tika Matika and the Matika, right? And so we will be starting with the Matika. Uh, you will probably have, uh, take a look at it. I will upload it after the introduction. Mm -hmm. Take a look at it. And I think you might have to print it out. Um, print it out. Uh, that would be easier, right? Or, I mean, decide... Mm -hmm. Let's let's see at the introduction because you can decide because uh, what to do because it is I think the matika is relatively shorter but the uh, tika matika is quite long, right? But um, but I think it that class would be so wonderful because that will really be really be bringing in all the different chapters of Abhidhamma that we have studied really all bringing it in together you know, and really polishing up everything that we have gone through. So do uh, spend time sort of going over and um, revising the sections. Uh, so on the day of the introductions, I will go through those that note, Devika, and, and then mm -hmm. upload it for all of you to then print it out or do whatever necessary to prepare for the class. Okay? All right. So... If there are no other questions. Um, oh, there is a question. iPad? Padma, yeah. Yes. Uh, it's me, Padma. And, uh, can you please explain that first uh, paragraph before the guide to 43 again, please? Okay, okay. Let's... Because uh, it is starts with the attainment of cessation. Okay. Uh, I'm getting a bit confused about the fine material and the material planes and the jhanas. That's why. Okay, so here, can you see it? Yeah, okay. yeah, I got it. The okay. attainment of fruition. No, 43. 43. The attainment the of... first par paragraph. Uh, the attainment. Ah, no, no, sorry. Uh, my book is different. What you said earlier was correct. Sorry. Guide okay. to 43. Guide to 43. Three, yeah. Guide to 43, Hari. That one, the first paragraph. This one. The attainment of cessation is a meditative attainment in which the stream of consciousness and mental factors is completely cut off temporarily. Yeah, that's in, fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. It yeah. can be obtained only by non-returners and arahants. Yeah, that's fine. Who have mastery over all the fine material, immaterial jhanas. Yeah. Fine. Okay. But yeah. it can be obtained only within the sensuous plane or the fine material plane of existence. Right. That's where I'm getting a bit, getting a bit confused. Why? Because Why? in the immaterial, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It cannot be obtained within the immaterial plane. Mm -hmm. Because within the immaterial plane, you can't go into the fine material plane, Jonas. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So you have to be able to, you should have mastery <laughs> over the jhanas but you can't then do you go back you have to go back to the fine material to be able to uh, attain nirodha samapatti is that correct me my utana benne the nirodha samapatti is an extremely it is an unworldly concept mm -hmm. it is almost as living in nibbana it is yeah. almost as bringing parinirvana into your life. Do you get right. what I mean? Yeah, okay. Right? It is a very extraordinary and unworldly concept. Yeah. Medita meditation. 
Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. This, that sort of attainment is a very powerful attainment. Yeah. Right? It's a very powerful attainment. Two, you know, just imagine it is almost as if it's like, just imagine a slap. Right? Mm -hmm. If you have space to build momentum, the slap can be quite strong. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the space to build momentum, the slap is yeah. weak. Yeah. Due to the power required and necessary to bring that state, bring that sort of meditative state round, mm -hmm. that is why you need to go from one up until the last jhana to build that momentum. Yeah, okay. To yeah. build that momentum. It mm -hmm. cannot be attained within the immaterial plane, meaning because immaterial beings do not ego to go rupa vachara yeah okay right they right. They, they simply can't understand it mm. right they simply can't understand it right so they cannot go into such a jhana they can go into their jhanas but not the fine mm. so when they can't do that when they simply mm. can't understand it they don't have enough space to build that momentum Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Okay. Hence, the immaterial beings cannot go into Nirodha Samad. Okay, all right. Although you might be a non-returner or, or an Arahant, you will not be able to attain because there's not enough space of mm -hmm. mind there mm -hmm. to build the momentum because you can't go into the Rupa Vachar Okay, That's all right. right. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yes, Dil. Dil, Dil we can't hear you. Even near here, but I'm just trying to understand with only the mind. So does that, that mean then, Bhante, that when whoever is in these states, are they aware that my God, now if I do if I stop here, then I will be able to gather this moment to go there. But are they aware, or do they just follow the process and then you're lucky if you stop there and then gather this moment and then jump there? But are, or do, do, does your mind just go into those states and well, you're unlucky if you go and cross over there, then then what happened? Then, then you can't gather the momentum. Then you have to come off it and then again start off again in the sensuous plane or the the the, uh, the, the material jhanas and then go. Is that what happens? I mean, it's theoretical I'm asking, but I can't quite but how that can happen. Do you know when you're in these states that, okay, now if I if I stop here now, then, then it's good because then I can um, I can gather the momentum and go to a high state if they so wish to. Or do you just happen to go and the brakes might come somewhere and you may have crossed and now you can't go into that state so you'll have to come off it and then again start from the sensual side, uh, the material. I don't okay. know whether I'm making sense because okay. my mind I, is a little think, all in a world. I, I, I think I get what you mean. What you say yes. is what... Yes. If I am correct, what you're yes. asking is, how do these beings know yes. how to get into such a state? Yes. Right? Yes. It is not now these beings, being beings who have mastered jhana, and not only jhana, they have also mastered me, enlightenment up until non-returner or uh, fully enlightenment, full enlightenment. Mm -hmm. right. So they are they are great masters of the mind, if you might be able to say, right? Mm -hmm. They are great masters of the mind. Being so, they understand, I mean, they have gone to the immaterial states. They know what the immaterial states are. They have also uh, review the states, the immaterial states, the jhanas individually. They are masters of it, right? So now what happens is with the vipassana knowledge, right? With the vipassana knowledge, what they are essentially doing is they are bringing together the immaterial, the final state of nothingness with the power that they have with vipassana. And they are balancing they are minds to such a great extent that is absolutely beyond beyond anything that we will know right now. They balance the mind in a such a such a state where the mind ceases to exist. 
right? Where the mind ceases to exist. I mean, this is almost as if you know, this is almost as if 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 there is a if there is an if there is a a person who is an absolute professional, right? A person who is so skilled in their means in in what they do, so skilled, right? That you know they see a piece of work, whatever this might be, and they might sort of be able to sort of put all of these things together. This is, you know, why don't we try this? Right? These beings will be absolute masters of the mind and body at this stage. Right? And also remember, now these are arahants and non-returners, no? The Buddha is pointing the way to these beings. On the attainment of Nirodha Samapati, the Buddha is pointing the way. Yeah. Right, the Buddhists point in the way. So Palasamapati is something that they know how to do. But absolute masters of both, meaning the jhana world and the enlightenment part, are those who would be able to go into Nirodha Samapati. Exactly. So Bhante, when we talked long ago at the very beginning about so far this year, said that is the Nibbana with the residue and the other one, the Anupadi says, and Iban, we thought, is that what, this, what you're talking about now when you say so? No, no, please don't confuse it. Just... No, uh, this is no. this attainment, this attainment, right. it is not to right. say that is Saupadi says or Anupadi says. Right. Right. This is, yes. however, this is right. whilst having a body, being in Nero, there is a state where you're in a complete state of nothingness. So, Bhante, then my next question is, now we know you have this vinyana, whatever space, and you have um, akasa, vinyana, then you go to nothingness, but then you have the other, I don't know, neither perception nor non-perception, but in, when you're talking, you're always talking at the extreme of uh, the nothingness one. So, what about that fourth one? I don't know, we go no, from, from space, which is akasa, to consciousness, vinyana, and you know, and then you go to nothingness, and then that Neither perception nor non-perception, the fourth one. Yes. But in all your explanations, you, 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 you talk about that nothingness one, the highest nothingness. Why do we leave out that other one? Oh, no, no, no. We will go into that as well. Right. Okay. I mean, it is right. on that it is on that basis that okay. each cessation yes. occurs. Yes. Neither perception okay. nor non-perception. But yes. but within this field, it yes. goes beyond neither perception. And non-perception yes. into cessation itself. Yeah, yeah. Right? So we are you, not Bante. leaving it out. Right. Right. Thank you, Man. Thank you. All right. All right, everyone. So then I will keep you all posted. Uh, it is lovely going through this sort of, um, you know, this whole book and now coming to an end. And I think we have, we can all agree that we have gained so much from the study of the Abhidhamma through the course of the years. And it has really broadened our understanding and our depth of understanding with relation to the Dhamma and on the enlightenment processes. So with all the merits that we have accrued through this time of study and contemplation with the Abhidhamma, let us share with all of our departed relatives, our parents of this birth, previous birth, all deities hoping to who would be able to rejoice in this sort of momentous and holy occasion of coming to an end with regards to this foundation which leads to the further understanding of the other rest of the books of Abhidhamma and into enlightenment itself. So with all of the merits that we have accrued through all the time that we have spent day in, day out, contemplating, trying to understand, memorizing, doing all of that for the sake of the Dhamma. May we share all those merits with all of our departed relatives and all beings all across the world, all across existence who hope to share in this merit. May they all share and rejoice in all of these merits and may these merits help us and all those beings in our practice, in their practice towards Nirvana, in this very birth or in the very next. Idam me nyati nam ho tu sukita hum tu nyatayo Idam me nyati nam ho tu sukita hum tu nyatayo Idam me nyati nam ho tu 
सुखिता नाथयो आकाशत्था चुम्मत्ता देवा मिंदिखा चिरन्रखंतु सासनं आकाशत्ता चुम्मत्ता देवानागामिंदिखा पुण्यंगुमोदि चिरन्रखंतु देशन आकाशत्ता चुम्मत्ता देवानागामिंदिखा पुण्यंगुमोदि चिरन्रखंतु सदाति आशीर्वाद